I fully acknowledge that these lashes are a lot, especially since I haven't worn lashes for a while. So this is a lot, but we're going with them. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram. I talk about perfume there too, slightly different content, but a lot of fun. Today, I'm really excited to talk about one of my favorite perfumes and that is Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. So this only has the notes of flowers, musk, and cashmere enlisted. And this is such a great fragrance for layering. So I'm gonna talk about different layering combinations that go really beautifully with Pure Musk. So I've done a couple other videos similar to this. I did one where I talked about Cloud from Ariana Grande and what perfumes layer well with that one. I'll put that up in the cards for you. I also talked about Alien recently from Mugler and which fragrances layer beautifully with Alien. I'll put that up in the cards too. So today I thought this would be a great one to talk about because I love this one. I like this on its own. It's just such a beautiful, clean, classy musk. I love Narciso Rodriguez. It's one of my favorite perfume houses, if not my favorite, and this is gorgeous. So as I mentioned in the Alien video, you want to layer the stronger perfume first because that's just gonna help the overall longevity. Pure Musk is not a super strong, long-lasting perfume. I get about four hours average, so it's, it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. So generally speaking, Pure Musk is gonna go on top of what I'm layering. And all the ones that I'm talking about today are stronger than Pure Musk. So I'm gonna be putting Pure Musk down on top of these and seeing what we get. First one is Nina Ricci's Rose Extase. I love this one. It's very similar to Perfum de Marley Delina. It's a gorgeous, classy rose. It's sweet, it's beautiful, and I think it's gonna go really nicely with Pure Musk. Pure Musk just adds a really classy, beautiful, musky element to anything, and this is a great combination. I can recommend this one. It just makes it a little bit more smooth and a little bit more rounded out, a little bit more elegant and just a little more interesting to me. So I love this perfume on its own, but I think Pure Musk just kind of amps it up a little bit to make it just more interesting and beautiful to me. So this is a good combination. Next, we're gonna do one of my favorites. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle, which has notes of pear, vetiver, vanilla, and others. And it's gorgeous, sweet, juicy, fruity, long-lasting, people-pleasing, compliment-getting. <laughs> it's just a great perfume, I love it. I'm not sure that Pure Musk is gonna improve it because it's already so beautiful. So this one is, and of course, testing on paper isn't the same as testing on skin, but I can say this one is so strong. This is a long lasting perfume, like I said, and I think Pure Musk is probably gonna get a little bit lost because this is such a powerful perfume. So I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, but I don't know that it's gonna do much because La Belle is so incredibly intense and I do have the intense version too, but even the regular version is a strong and powerful perfume. So Pure Musk may get a little bit lost with this gorgeousness, but it's not gonna hurt anything. This one may be the same, but we'll try it anyway. This is Rose Jam from Lush. This is a classic jammy rose perfume and it's just really intense, powerful, beautiful, I think. It's not for everyone, but I really like it. Yeah, I think this one may be similar to La Belle because Rose Jam is so intense and potent that I think Pure Musk may get lost with this one, but it's not gonna hurt it. So I, I kind of can't tell that I sprayed Pure Musk on here because I sprayed Rose Jam first and then Pure Musk. And this is so intense that Pure Musk is a little bit too delicate for this, I think, but it was worth trying. This is El Haramain's Amber Oud Rouge, which is a dupe for Maison Francis Kirkshan's Baccarat Rouge 540. I love this perfume. I think it's a really good clone. So it's got that saffron. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this one I think works. So this is a fairly strong perfume too, but it doesn't eat up the Pure Musk. So I think the Pure Musk just rounds it out, makes it a little bit more smooth and beautiful. I think it's a good combo. I would like to test this one further on the skin to see how it dries down and what I get, but my first impression is very good. I think Amber Oud Rouge is gonna layer really nicely with Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. And of course I had to put Alien in the mix because it's just a great layering perfume. And this has a lot of jasmine going on. So this is 
primarily a jasmine perfume. Beautiful, classic, mm, love it. Alien has a flanker called Musk Majestia, I believe. And I haven't smelled Musk Majestia, but this I'm guessing is kind of similar. So Alien is pretty strong, but I think it's still worth layering with pure musk. I think it's good, it's pretty. I think it adds to it and I like this on its own, but I think adding pure musk just gives it a slightly different twist and it's definitely worth doing to me. And of course I had to try Cloud too. So Cloud is somewhat similar to Amber Oud Rouge that I tried earlier, but I thought it's still worth trying. Cloud is a little bit sweeter and creamier than Amber Oud Rouge. Beautiful. Ooh. So I like this. I like this. I think I think I like this combo better than the Amber Oud Rouge with Pure Musk. Although I like both of them, but I just, there's something about Cloud. I don't know what it is, but it really layers beautifully with Pure Musk. So this is a winner. It just adds this whole other dimension and it's really beautiful. I am definitely gonna have to give this a go when it starts to cool down a little bit more. I think this one is gonna be really beautiful in fall and winter. Love it. So I wanted to try a vanilla and I think any vanilla will work for this. I grabbed my Vini from Molinard, which is a French niche house. And um, the other ones, the other ones that I have that are kind of similar are Orchidée Vini from Van Cleef and Arpels or Vanilla 28 from Kaali. I'm really liking this. This is, so it's a nice musky vanilla. So this is a little bit linear on its own. So adding the pure musk just gives it a little more depth a little more character. It's really pretty. It's very classy and gorgeous. I, I think this is going to be kind of a people pleaser combo, the Vanille plus the Pure Musk. And like I said, any vanilla based fragrance will probably do for this combination, but this is definitely good. So I wanted to try Pure Poison. I really like Pure Poison. It's a classic, I think, and I just have a feeling it's going to be really nice with Pure Musk. Pure Musk and Pure Poison. So. Pure Poison is kind of a classic spicy floral to me, or amber floral. I think adding Pure Musk to Pure Poison is really nice. Again, you're just getting more softness, more richness, more nuance. So the addition of Pure Musk to any of these is, I think is just gonna really give you a softer, slightly floral, clean, beautiful edge to whatever you're putting down first. So Pure Poison is good. And the last one I'm trying today is Valentino Born in Roma really pretty. It reminds me slightly of Flower Bomb, slightly of La Vie Belle. It's that kind of DNA. So it's very popular. It's very pretty. People pleasing. Um, nobody's going to be offended by this. It's very nice. So I like this a lot. Adding Pure Musk to Valentino Born in Roma. I think it, I like it more than I like the original. So I like the original okay, but adding Pure Musk to it just makes it a little more interesting, a little bit different and unique to me. Because like I said, this is a very popular DNA for a perfume right now, I think. I think the bottle is stunning. I love this bottle. But the addition of Pure Musk just makes it more gorgeous, more classy, kind of more elegant to me, which I love. So I think this is a winner with Pure Musk. This is just a super beautiful, versatile fragrance. I love having it in my collection. I just love Narciso Rodriguez. They've got so many beautiful options and I think this one is great for layering. Any of these will work. Some of them are a bit strong for Pure Musk so they just kind of eat it up, but you know, it's not gonna hurt anything. So just play with it, experiment, see what you can find. If you find something that works really beautifully with Pure Musk, I'd love to hear about it. And I'd also love to hear about your favorite layering combinations down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.